When aircraft is in flight, it accumulates static charge on its surface. Caused by the friction between the aircraft surface and atmospheric precipitation such as rain, snow, ice, and dust particles. The static energy gets discharged back to the atmosphere, but the rate is slower in comparison to the charging. Therefore accumulation of the charge increases and forms a strong electric field around the surface. Static charge builds up all over the aircraft, but the concentration tends to be more at the sharpest points. As the static energy continues to increase, further strengthening the electric field. The aircraft surface reaches a saturation level, and it cannot hold more charges. Now the electric field starts to ionize the adjacent air molecules. The ionized air provides a pathway for rapid discharge to the accumulated static energy. This phenomenon is known as the corona discharge. The corona discharge is highly undesirable and needs to be avoided. There are several communication and navigation antennas located throughout the length of the aircraft, and proper functioning of these antennas is critical in a congested airspace. In modern flights the communication and navigation systems are continuously transmitting and receiving signals from various ground stations, satellites, and other aircraft. When a corona discharge takes place, radio frequency noise is produced. The noise can interfere with the signals used for communication and navigation. The interference will cause distortion of the signals, and pilots can miss out on crucial information required for the flight. Static charge accumulation and its discharge to the atmosphere cannot be prevented, but the rate at which the discharge takes place can be controlled. The idea is to hold the aircraft structure at a voltage below the corona threshold level by discharging the static charge into the atmosphere through a continuous path. To achieve this static discharger wicks are installed at the sharpest point of the horizontal stabilizers. Vertical Stabilizer and the aircraft wings. As static charge concentrates at the sharpest points of the aircraft, the sharp and pointy shape of the wicks provides an easy pathway for the charge to dissipate. The wicks have high resistance value to prevent it from discharging the static energy rapidly and possibly cause radio interference. The wicks dissipate static charge moderately and by doing it continuously, never lets the aircraft surface reach the corona discharge voltage. This way static discharger wicks ensure that the communication and navigation systems function efficiently. Thanks for watching.